And then strategy number six is get referrals from impressed clientele. So first step, impress your clientele. And you won't when you're going out there <coughs> initially going, I swear they don't ever on campus, right? I talked about that. They're not impressed right from the get-go. They may hire you anyway. But now you've got a lot of backpedaling to do to get them, you know, to be delighted customers. So it's it's really, really simple to let go of the small jobs, and that's what you want to do starting tomorrow. You need to tell your assistant who's now going to answer the phone for you that she'll have, you know, give her about three or four questions that she can ask qualifying questions. And then she just refers them on to these one of these three people or all three of them. Okay, so then we've impressed them, and now how do we get them to refer people to us? Well, that's easy, they're impressed, so they're gonna talk about people. Really? Are they? Yeah, a little bit. They will, it's called word of mouth, and it's great. When somebody comes to them and says, you know what, we just had this job done, and didn't you guys have that job done? So you want them to be raving about you. But then you're not in the driver's seat. What can you do when they're telling all their friends? You don't know. You don't know who they told. So what you want, and who was it who asked me about marketing in particular? When I wrote this down, somebody said marketing. Yes? Was it you? No. Nope. It was you? Okay, good. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to ask them who they're raving about you to. Okay? Because otherwise you don't know who they're talking to about the great job you do. What is it that you do? Uh, Renovation. Okay, and that's great. So what you do is you send out a newsletter, for example, especially renovations. You send out a newsletter. It doesn't have to be weekly like mine are right now, but you can start out quarterly. Oh, and I just have a, a tool that I've been using since the beginning of the year or the end of the year or something, which is fabulous. So it's this, um, you send out cards. It's called send out cards. <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> anyway, so give us a call about it, and I will, yeah, give me your information. I'll send you a card, and you can see what it looks like. Anyway, so you want to send out cards to all of your customers, for example, and, and I mean, it can be very, very, very inexpensive. And the time it takes you to go shopping, to get a card that doesn't have anything to do with you or their job on it. So I don't want to pump that too much, but that you want to stay in touch with them. So you want to send them something to say, thank you for hiring me, maybe. Send them something to say, thank you for, you know, trusting us with you know, your renovations or whatever it is that you do for them. And you want to boldly ask them for referrals. So when you hire me, for example, to work with you, I'm, it's going to say right in the contract that you signed, right in the, I call it an agreement. I grew up in law and I hate the word contract, but an agreement. And it's going to say right in there, if you're delighted with our work, then you know we look forward to referrals from you. And if you aren't willing to give us referrals, then you're not delighted with our work. And I want you to talk to me about that. And I want referrals. Why? Because I want to help more families. My four-year-old granddaughter said, Mamey, are you going to help every family in the world? And I said, that would be my dream come true, baby girl. So I ask for referrals. I really do. And people give me referrals. But if you don't ask, you don't get them. And to date, I've never heard that I pissed a client off by asking them for referrals. But you just ask, because they are raving about it or they're complaining about it, right? So the first one, yes? Just what kind of subject line, the subject line, what kind of value do you place on something like testimonials if you have a website or? My website is called Testimonials. And I'm, I'm working with a lot of people these days for this program that starts the 4th and 5th of May. And so all of these people that I'm talking who I'm talking to, you know, they're calling me or whatever. We send 
we send out cards to, to a bunch of people and so I'm following up to the cards. That's another reason, you know, now you can, you sent them a card, now you're going to follow up to the card. I want to know that they got it, because I don't know, you know, if it got there, God bless Canada Post, but we're not friends. So then they are actually phoning people who are on my website, because I'm saying, I'm saying, look, you want to know if it works? You know, because I don't have a refrigerator to sell. So I can't say, and if the refrigerator doesn't keep your food cold, you know, then you get your money back, sort of thing. So they're, they're phoning people who are there, and I don't even have their phone numbers there anymore like I used to. So they're, you know, Googling the company name and they're phoning them. So what's the value? Huge. For a testimonial. Huge. In addition to, you know, the other Yeah, the testimonials. That's what I mean is these people are on my website because of testimonials. They're saying. This is the problem I had. This is where I am now. This is what I like about Lynn's services or, or the way she delivers, I guess, is something like that.